Okay, here I am in a place I've never been. Georgetown, North Carolina. It's just a tiny little village, kind of connected to Kinston. Maybe I should look under the floor of this place. I don't... I didn't feel so comfortable in that location, so I gave up pretty quick. I see this has potential. There was a couple houses here, and in those woods over there, those woods go back pretty deep. I'm going to go check it out and see if there's any dumps back there. Okay, can we get through here someplace? It looks like a deer might have been using this spot. Do you see that? Some kind of old abandoned house out there. Better go investigate. Yeah, not too many people would find this unless they were hiking randomly. Or had the old map that I had. And even then, I wasn't expecting to see this. This low spot looks pretty interesting. They probably threw some trash right about here. So, let's have a probe at it. Nope. But this is an interesting little creek behind here. There's probably a dump somewhere along here. The fact that it's on these cinder blocks is not a good sign. It could have been moved in here. But hopefully it was just put here to keep it from sagging down anymore. I see several broken soda bottles under there. Looks pretty interesting really. Yep, definitely have to crawl under here. Okay, found a couple Mountain Dews. One of them's got a broken off top. Maybe I'll bring it home and saw it off. Those make really nice drinking cups. As well as this Roberson's. Found a couple others and threw them on the other side of the, under the house. But I'll get to those later. This creek is calling me. I know there's gonna be bottles over here. some stuff over here that's interesting some kind of a trash pit kind of looks like somebody's been messing here already yeah it looks very suspicious like a metal detectorist maybe somebody maybe just raked around but wait a minute I don't believe it what is this looks like some kind of a button not a Civil War button probably, but probably from some clothing, a pair of jeans from some obsolete company. But that goes into the pocket. So I'll probe it out a little bit. Feels like pretty much it's only a couple inches deep. But we have a sun crest over here. Very common brand, but a couple dollars anyway. Okay, we're getting to the falls. And we've got another sun crest. It's a little bit faded out, so probably won't bring that one back. Got some interesting stuff coming up here. Looks like some bottles are showing up. Of course, everything's sort of modern. A lot of 1960s. It's not too exciting. It's got the Mountain Dew shape to it, so I'm sure it was, but no paint left, so that's no good. Wait, what's that? 
Yeah, this is kind of a low spot right here, and I think they threw a lot of trash in here, but not very many bottles. And I'm not, I'm not seeing anything old enough to get me excited yet. I know this house was here for over 110 years, so I'm kind of confused about where the old stuff's at. Okay, I see more soda bottles, more Suncrest. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't think I want those. Let's go down further. And we got a knee high in the giant 16 ounce size. It's ruined. Now we're coming to the swimming hole. Yeah, if you were a little kid, you could hang out here in the summer. <sighs> Looks kind of dangerous right here. I hope I don't slip and fall into the water. What's that soda bottle right there? Another sun crest broken. Okay, see another soda and yet another Looks like a Suncrest and this one's a Pepsi from the late 50s paint gone Quite an interesting spot. It'd be really great if I could find something. Something worth over two dollars, that is. Okay, that looks like the oldest thing I've seen. But still, it's only from late 30s or early 40s, maybe. If that doesn't look like a potential dump site, then I don't know what would. But, I don't know, no, I was going to go that way, but it's looking muddy over there. So, we'll stay on the dry side. See if there's anything dumped over here. It's not quite as exciting as digging an early 1900s privy with 30 or 40 bottles in it. Or a dump that I've been digging for 18 days already. But to you viewers, it might be more interesting to see something different. Change of scenery here. Yeah, I definitely should have worn my waterproof boots for this journey. I didn't think I was going to find such a large creek over here. Such a long creek for me to be walking through. Yeah, it's kind of weird that I've never been over here. I've known about this area for years. Been to Kinston probably 50 times and I've never gone to this area. It's very interesting. Hmm, nothing in there, of course. But let's have a look at what I found under the floor. It's a tab. Not very old, but you don't really see that many of them around. And we've got a jumbo. A bit of scrubbing will bring that red back out, I think. So that's probably the best one right there. <laughs> 